so it's definitely official i think my car hates me um so just two days three days before a group drive for the r32 groups out here in like uh like the valley in the bay area and stuff um it decides that the hood latch just wants to magically stop working and i'm trying everything i can just to try to get uh, i'm sorry for the blur but the hood latch to release but it's not releasing at all so so the issue is that the hood latch right here the big portion that actually lets go does not want to release off of the hood latch itself it's somehow stuck and I'm trying to get it to open up so I can get ready for this drive and I had to do all this just so I can get some clearance. <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, at first glance, I couldn't tell exactly what the issue was and I had a theory that it was gonna be this right here. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be in between this, just like this one. And when I look, Let's see if it focuses. When I look at this, it's in between that little C so obviously this somehow fell out of place and it wasn't letting me open it but at least I got it open and now just gotta get a hood latch from pick and pull which is down the street slap it on align it and I just realized that I said I was gonna go to pick and pull but I forgot that since I'm a Volkswagen guy I have a pick and pull at my house because all I have is fucking junk cars as you can tell. So how convenient is it that I have a working hood latch? I don't even have to go to pick and pull. The perks of being a Volkswagen, quote unquote, a Volkswagen guy. morning y'all it's five o'clock in the morning 34 degrees i have a two hour drive pretty much to meet up with a bunch of r32 guys so we can have a group drive and i honestly don't even know where uh let's let's hope for the best this is actually my first time ever going on a group drive and this is gonna be my first time actually meeting all these guys uh, that I've been in, a, in like a group chat with. So I'm kind of excited. Right now I'm gonna go pick up my girlfriend. And then from there I'm just gonna head straight towards like SF, San Ramon, San Mateo area. I'm gonna try to record as much as possible, but obviously I'm gonna be driving. So I don't necessarily think I'm gonna record much, but I think when we get there, when we meet up and then some of the drive, I'll probably like time-lapse and I don't know, we'll see. I'm taking my camera so I can take, hopefully, some, like, practice taking some pictures of the cars. And, uh, you know, seeing all these guys with all the R32s should be cool. Roughly, I think around, like, 10 should be going, which is still, still good, to be honest. Because uh, a lot of them had, like, other things they had to do or their cars weren't done. Or some of them were, like, out of state. But, yeah. Stay tuned. Package is secured. Hello. Hi. But yeah. So now the drive. We're just crossing the San Mateo Bridge. 
Should be getting there at least like 10 or 15 minutes. We made it. First one, like always, just because I like to be early. Uh, but yeah, so it should be like 15, 20 minutes before everybody else gets here. I like getting here early. I like getting to places early just because I can actually just set up and just relax, you know, because I woke up hella early, as you can tell. But yeah, from uh, here, I don't know. We're going to take a, a drive. Should be. Should be nice. She looks so good. <sighs> and as you can tell, I put the Cooper lip on. Don't mind that big ass dent. I don't know where the fuck it came from. I hear Wookie noises. Nah, I heard it. Number two. Oh, she's a beauty. Now that makes two. Yeah. He was a Volkswagen for many years, like when those cars were new. Mm -hmm. But uh, he lived a really fun. Good. So, we ran into an issue. Is this car messed up? No, a little bit. Just a little bit? It's because we cracked the plastic a little bit on the Fuck, all right. So, we hit a deer because of the glare. Sadly, Leo is the one that hit it. Yeah, clipped him. Clipped him real nice. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so he just he just clipped it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Both fucking monkey. Yeah. Both. We got Alan. Did not catch the name of this guy. Mine. Got 
Jax. So another uh, straggler R32 met up with us. Uh, he caught us at Alice's restaurant. We're past that. I think we're like halfway through, not even maybe. If not close to halfway through the drive, but amazing, amazing views. So we made it to the beach, which is gonna be our first stop actually. Uh, as you can tell the lineups here, this is all we have here. And uh, it's a pretty good turnout. It's a pretty good turnout. I will tell you that. It's very beautiful out here. Look at this beauty. Soon. Soon. Just a little bit of where we're at. And getting yelled at, I guess. Stopped at Allison's restaurant. Alice, Alice's restaurant. Right. R32, R32. Where's the other one? Oh, I don't know where he went. Yeah. And it was the inner. Nice. Oh, not the highway itself. Yeah. Oh, the fogway. Whatever it is. BMW. The badass mini. GTRs. Skylines. Damn, this is badass. Yes, sir. Look at this beauty. I know I haven't been on many like group drives or anything, but by far this has been probably like the funnest drive I've been on. Um, super windy and it's like so much fun, so much fun. We got caught, I think twice by two other cars. One car let us pass by, the other one we just, it was at the end, so it didn't really matter, but a bunch of cars and yeah, and my food's ready, so. Back. So the game plan right now is get our food, eat, and then we're probably going to hit another pass. If not, I think we're just going to head home right after. Um, regardless, still fun food. Some sticky tires on it too. You have to on that. 
Is he like, come on! <laughs> That shit's so badass.